Hello everybody and this is the last and final tutorial for the cam I mean the collision class right now. Now one thing about the camera class, I do not think I showed you. I think I intended to show you but I didn't end up doing it. Um for the camera Y we also did Y minus screen height divided by two. If that's what you have, then you need to change it. You need to change Y is equal to zero and just have this for the camera. The reason being is that we're not doing any screen scrolling up. We're just doing um, horizontal screen scrolling. So there's no need to change the Y position of the camera. You're just going to be changing the X position of the camera because we're moving horizontally. So if you could just change that, because if you don't change that, your program won't run properly. So anyways, let's go back to a collision. So I briefly explained this. If you don't understand it, oh, sorry. Um... Okay, if you don't understand it, then it's fine. Just know that it works, okay? And you will understand it later, don't worry. So, basically, now we say y equals j times block size minus 10. You have to do this. Um, and if you put the height variable in there, you have to say j times block size minus height. Whatever, how high your, um, your square is. The reason being... Is that remember how we said if there's no collision, um, then platform is equal to false? Well, if you put like it's j times block size minus 11, when we put it j times block size minus 10, the y2, the bottom, is still touching the ground, so it is still colliding with the ground, so it won't set platform to false. And since it doesn't set platform to false, then your, your player won't fall through the ground. It kind of sounds confusing, but you have to do J times block size minus your your height or it will not work, okay? And just like your Y2 is equal to Y plus your height, I don't have the height variable in the parameters because I didn't want to make it too long, but we know that the height is equal to 10. And if you want, you can put the height of the player in the global.h and just do that also. And the platform is true because we are touching the ground when we collide on the bottom or we were, are touching a platform. And jump is equal to true because when you're on the ground or on a platform, then you are able to jump. And velocity y is equal to zero because you don't want to fall anymore. You know what I mean? And then the platform is equal to false, so uh, equal to true, so it just automatically set velocity y to zero. Okay, so now we have to put an else if statement. Else if v direction equals to one um yeah that's all you have to do this part is easy so you set y plus equals speed times two now you could do anything you want you don't have to do plus equals speed times two but i just like it that when it does a top collision that it goes down it's just like if you jump and you hit your head on the wall you'll start to go down like immediately you know what i mean just, if you hit your head on the ceiling whatever you start to go down immediately. There's no delay or whatever. So this is how I did it. You could do however you want to do it. And a y is equal to y plus 10 like always. Sorry. And velocity y is equal to 0 again. And platform equal to false. Oh, sorry. I can't even type now. And jump is equal to false. And then we're going to put... If, don't put else if, if h direction is equal to 1, meaning you're moving right, and platform is equal to false. The reason being is, remember how I said that when, um, when you set your y position to j times block size minus 10, right? You're still touching the ground. So, in reality, it's still going to check for a collision. So, if you're moving, if you're on, if you're in a collision... And you're moving right, which means h direction is equal to 1. That means it's actually going to think that you actually did a collision at the side when you actually didn't. So you have to say that when platform is equal to false, then you check for a horizontal collision. So basically, it just says, if you hit the wall when you're moving right, then x minus equals speed. And x2 equals x plus, b, um, x plus the width. And same with um, h direction equals 2 and platform equals false. And y, x plus equals speed and x2 is equal to x plus 10. And that's 
it for our platform collision so let's try it in the update method so let's put collision dot um, platform collision and in the update method we have to copy all I'm um, in the update um, function sorry I'm calling it method I'm so used to C sharp now I'm working with C sharp a lot now anyways copy all that and put it in the update parameters of the function and then just put paste right there and then just copy it so x y x2 y2 velocity y sorry velocity y h direct v direction speed jump platform like you see how it's starting to get a pain now but it's whatever okay so now let's go to our main uh where's my main 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 okay where is my main I never okay then I cannot find my main hold on a second let me pause the video and get back okay everybody I'm um okay I found it so anyways let's go to our main.cpp include collision.h so now let's go down and create an instance of our class and let's initialize it so load our collision map and um our collision update is going to go after the player dot update so after the player moves and stuff so we gotta get our player dot x player dot y player dot x2 player dot y2 player dot velocity y player dot h direction let's put a comma and go down here so player sorry uh player dot v direction player dot speed player dot jump and player dot platform and i don't know i just like it better over here it's easier to read and yeah so that's it for our collision dot update so let me take out this rest so let's test this out see if it works but there's one thing we have to do we have to set gravity equal to one okay so set the gravity equal to one and let's go for a test so let's see what happened so something went wrong in our code um, let me pause it and let me see if I could try and figure out what went wrong. Hold on. Oh, okay, so I figured out the problem. I put player dot x over here. I forgot to change the player dot y. Now, um, some stuff I forgot to add in player dot cpp. Um, this is not really important, but just to initialize h direction and v direction. And uh, is that all I added? Um, I think I added something in the collision class. I'm not sure. Or did I not? No, I didn't. So that's it. And when we run our code, let's see what we get. So your sprite falls and it lands on the ground. And when you jump, it will land on the ground. And as you can see, it jumps kind of fast and falls fast. So that's what the kind of effect that we want. Okay? So thanks for watching this video and now you got your collision going and you can add other stuff to the map um, So let, let's just add something quickly just to show something so let's go to our map file um, Let's add a, um, some threes so Let me take this three 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 Okay so all I have to do is just, I'll just copy this.
and I'll put this in my collision map and then I'll change R H replace change the ones to zeros replace all and change the threes to zeros replace all and change the twos to one replace all and let's close that and change it to 20 by 15 save that and save that and then we go back to our map class and we say else if map file i j is equal to 3 uh, and no actually just copy this my bad sorry and let's make this red and let's compile this and oh sorry 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 in my collision map I forgot to I thought, oh, I set the, those, I set them to one, sorry. And let's compile, and it lands on it. So you can see the collision working in effect. As I, as I told you, you probably will rarely do any side collisions like that, so you won't get, like, a negative effect with it. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, I'm sorry for all the mistakes I made. I'm sorry, but yeah, in programming, there's always mistakes, so you gotta deal with it. So, thanks for watching this tutorial, and um, the next one should be the enemies. So, that's it for now. Okay, bye.